Hi, I'm Susie Villasuso and I'm the chef here at Gran Luchito. Um, for this episode, I want to try to make uh, beef puree tacos at home and as just the same ones that you have seen all over Instagram. So I just want to focus on this recipe to be straightforward and easy for you to prepare at home. We're also going to be using some of the luchito paste, the pantry staple. Um, to enrich our broth that we're gonna cook our meat with on this lovely entanda. And now, for those of you who never heard anything about birria, I'll start by saying that birria is a dish that is from Jalisco, Mexico, and it mainly consists on a meat stew, uh, sometimes made with mutton, with um, goat as well, and it's cooked with um, broth with uh, Mexican dry chilies until lovely and tender. It's normally served as a stew um, and just alongside with some tortillas, but it is also served as tacos and you can find it just like simply uh, garnished with some diced onion and some coriander. Okay, so with that said, I'm gonna explain a little bit about what we're gonna be using for a recipe and uh, first thing is we're going to be making the adobo. Uh, the adobo is going to be cooked with the meat and it's just this mixture of ingredients so it's going to give a lovely flavor to the broth, uh, make it really lovely and rich and tasty. Uh, so for that you're going to need about five vine tomatoes, a whole head of garlic, you're going to be using four spring onions, one whole onion, a handful of coriander, and then we're gonna blend that with some apple cider vinegar and here I got some spices. Um, we got some a teaspoon of uh, coriander seeds, we got a teaspoon of black peppercorns, a teaspoon of cumin and half a teaspoon of clove. Have some about two pints of water ready because you're gonna need some cooking liquid. Um, and for the meat, I'm using brisket and I'm using short rib just to make it extra tasty. I got my brisket cut by my butcher, so it will cook much faster and get lovely and tender. And I got about half a kilo of brisket and about 600 grams of short rib. Now to serve our tacos, have some soft uh, tortillas ready on the side um, and a bit of grated cheese as well. All right, so let's do this. Okay, so the first thing to do is to prepare your adobo. And for that, I'm gonna put in this uh, prepared tray with um, parchment paper on top. I'm gonna put all of my vegetables there just to roast in the oven for 200, uh, 200 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. And this is just gonna give all these lovely vegetables even more flavor. They're gonna get lovely and a little bit char on the edges, which I love. Right, so we just have in our tomatoes and then we're gonna add the spring onions just into chunks. They don't need to be perfect as we are gonna blend this later into our adobo. So we pop the spring onions in there. One whole head of garlic. And this I simply cut in half and then I place it whole like this. I'll discard the skins later because it will get really lovely and soft and it'll be much easier to peel. Right, so I got here one onion. Just we're gonna quickly cut into big pieces. So they can roast with the other vegetables as well. And just scatter in there with the rest of the ingredients. There you go. And now this, I'm gonna add a drizzle of oil on top. and a pinch of salt. And a little bit of pepper. And that's it. Um, the base for our broth is ready to go in the oven. So 
So while your vegetables are cooking away in the oven, we're gonna quickly sear our meat. And I got a cast iron pan in here. Uh, and I added a little bit of olive oil. So I'm just gonna simply season my meat with plenty of salt. and some black pepper that's it and now I'm gonna add it into the pan with the hot oil like that Uh, just try to do this in a very high temperature because you want your meat to get a really good color all around. All of that is just going to add a lot of flavor into your area. So my roasted vegetables are ready and I took them out of the oven and now I'm going to make the adobo. So we just pop everything, all of those lovely caramelized veggies into your hand blender and then the garlic is just gone lovely and tender and it's just way easier to get out of the skins. And then here is where we add our spices, we're going to be adding the coriander seeds, the black peppercorns, the clove, half a teaspoon of clove because clove can tend to be a little bit stronger so only half a teaspoon of clove and a teaspoon of cumin. Cider vinegar, a tablespoon of our pantry essential, luchito paste. Don't be afraid of adding a lot of, I mean enough heat in there because it's just all gonna cook away and it's just gonna it's not gonna taste really spicy it's just gonna give a lot of flavor right so let's start we're gonna blend this super smooth that looks good right so first I'm gonna start by adding this so I can uh, finish blending the rest of my adobo here and I'm gonna bring the pan with the sear meat over here and then you're just just wanna show you in there how it's gonna look just gonna pour it all in and let's do the remaining adobo so let's finish doing this super quick There you go. So have your oven ready at 180 degrees in the back. I'm gonna add the remaining part of my adobo. And then in, in my pot goes two bay leaves. And we're gonna use two pints of water. And we're gonna add some coriander stalks into my pot as well. Remember the broth part of this dish is very important that you're gonna serve it with the tacos to dip your tacos in. So we want it to be very flavorsome. Right, so just roughly chop. Because you already seasoned um, everything, but you just wanna make sure it's gonna have enough flavor in there. You can always taste once it's ready and make sure if it needs any more seasoning, you can add any more, some more. All right, so that's ready to go in the oven. Okay, so we come to my favorite part of cooking any recipe and it's a big reveal. Uh, so now I took my meat out of the oven and now is the time of truth. So um, way to know if your meat is ready, basically you should see this happening. 
So now what's going to happen here, I'm going to place my meat in the bowl and this should be lovely and easy to shred. Right, so I got all my meat in this bowl and then just with the help of two forks I'm going to shred it. So I got my setup in here, I got my consomme into a smaller pot, I got my shredded meat with some of the lovely consomme mixed in, I got a pan where I'm gonna warm up my tacos and a bit of cheese and the soft tacos from Luchito. Okay so the first thing to do is I'm gonna add a bit of the consomme into a shallow bowl like this and reserve the rest for their, for later. Now, take one of your soft tacos and you're gonna dip it in into the consomme. Just coating it really well. So I got my deep tortilla ready here into that lovely consomme. And I'm gonna place it over this hot pan. I'm gonna add that lovely grated cheese on top, delicious meat, perhaps a tiny bit more of the consomme in there, and now I'm gonna fold it. This is the wrong tool to do this, but I'm gonna try. And you're just gonna let that cheese melt away with the meats. So I'm repeating again. This is what it's all about. This is why you did all that effort. Although actually I think this is quite an easy recipe to do because I mean once the dough is on and that you just go in the oven and you go away and just wait for it to be ready and then just just build these tasty tacos that's it I think my quesadillas are ready or oh, quesa tacos uh, so now I'm gonna add some of that lovely remaining consomme to this bowl Make sure it's warm. So that's gonna go in there. And these lovely quesatacos with birria are gonna go. On. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. They're gonna go into this plate. And then simply just garnish with a little bit of chop onion and then I'm gonna add some freshly chopped coriander and a lime on the side and then wipe my hands and there you go these are your birria tacos Right, so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos and more recipes and I'll see you next time.